Questy News, welcome to the new section of the channel where we deliver you the freshest takes, the hottest scoops, and whatever the fuck Corey Taylor wants to say, anytime, any place, any fucking where. Today's top story, penis pics sell, but who's buying? Devil Daddy Dilemma, and Gene Simmons is a cunt. Let's get started with our top story. So, coming in top, Megadeth bassist Dave Ellison sends his pickled pecker to a consenting adult. Con consenting adult? And she's of consenting age? What? This isn't news. Hey, Tony, you said she was underage. What? No, you said consenting age? Well, that's not a fucking story. I can't run with this. That's not news. That. <sighs> so, you know, apparently, let's. let's you know, fuck it. Let's talk. Let's talk. Me and you guys. Me and you guys. Dave Ellison situation. How do you guys feel about it? It is a bit of a scandal, you know, sending those kind of videos to someone who isn't your fucking wife or even your girlfriend. So that's a big no-no. But also, stuff like that should be behind closed doors. You shouldn't be publicizing it, media companies. But mm, she's not illegal. She's not underage. So really, the tabloids and stuff should shut the fuck up about this stuff, in my opinion. But what's your guy's opinion? The woman has come forward and said that she was of age when the videos were taken and that everyone's blowing things out of proportion. So what do you guys take on this? Here on Questy News, we want your guys' feedback. So let me know down below in the comments what you think of the whole situation. Who's at fault? Is the media blowing things out of proportion? And what do you like for dinner? Let me know, and then let's get stuck in with some more juicy news. So coming up next on the news chopping block, Jay-Z and Foo Fighters sent Iron Maiden running to the hills after they were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and Iron Maiden wasn't, which proves once and for all that Gene Simmons was right. Rock and Roll truly is fucking dead. Now, Again, I want your guys' takes on this. What do you think of the whole debacle? Who should have been inducted? I mean, Iron Maiden should have been inducted. Come on, it's Iron fucking Maiden. Jay-Z is not a rock and roll artist, so he can fuck right off. And who the Goo Goos? Who the fuck are they? Do you mean the Goo Goo Dolls? Go -Go -Do who the fuck are the Goo Goos? Why are these people here? Why isn't Motorhead in it? Okay, rant time. Why the fuck isn't Motorhead in it? Why the fuck wasn't Iron Maiden in it? Grr! Yeah. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Fuck that. That's just nonsense. But if you want to get mad like me, pop down in the comments below who should have been inducted and why Why was this a piece of shit? Foo Fighters? I mean, I enjoy them, but over Iron Maiden? Fuck off. Now for a more somber note. Psychosexual, the amazing, beautiful, serene band fronted by Jeremy Spencer of Five Finger Death Punch fame has had to delay the next album to July. How can this be? I know, I know, I know. I'm heart stricken. I'm sure you're heart stricken too. So what did you think about this news? This tragic loss of new music? All right, we're running this joke into the ground now. But that's where it should be alongside Psychosexual, Six Feet Fucking Under. No, don't, don't mention Six, don't do it. Don't do it, Meltdown. Fuck you. Ooh la la, in world news today, Godzilla has topped the US charts, becoming the next top m Sorry, what? Gojira has topped the US charts, becoming one of the best-selling albums. Top albums, Fortitude. Great goddamn album, and this is some good news. Those were fucking awful news. -es. This is some good news. News is is. I am's great anchors me. Fortitude by Gojira. Not quite the best Gojira album in my opinion, but still pretty fucking fantastic with such bangers as Boing Boing, Trees Are On Fire. Born For One Thing, Breathe Oxygen, Get Married, Have Some Kids, Reproduce, Start A Family, Get The Family Taken Away For You, Lose your wife, start a heroin addiction, get arthritis, lose your memory, dementia, old age, wrinkles, death. And how can you not forget the amazing oh, 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 oh. Finally, finishing off our news roundup today, we have news, sad news, from Jamie Horsefly. 
the YouTube sensation, and he has sadly contracted COVID-19. As one of his closest friends, I knew early on when he said he really enjoyed Illa Divinum Insanus by Morbid Angel, and I was very shocked, very scared, and I kept my distance for a while until he said he kind of enjoyed the latest psychosexual single, Devil in Hell, and that's when I knew he had the COVID. Because nothing else could account for that lack of fucking taste. Get well soon, homie. Peace, brother. This has been Questy's News, way more accurate and important than the real fucking news. Hopefully you guys had some fun, and we'll see you in the next roundup. Boop, 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 boop.